morning tk so today in religion we're gonna do our last saint can you believe it our last saint in our saint coloring book her name is saint kateri tekakwitha i think it's how you say it she was a native american so we're gonna read it her story kateri tekakwitha Kateri lived in an Indian village. Her father was a Mohawk chief and her mother was from the Christian Algonquin tribe. They taught her many things. I will teach you how to pray, said her mother. Say, Jesus, I love you. Can you try that? Can you say that? Jesus, I love you. Just saying that by itself is praying, talking to Jesus, right? One day, people in the village got very sick. They got sick from a disease called smallpox. Sadly, many people died, including Kateri's parents. Little Kateri got better, but she was weak and she could not see very well. The sunlight hurt her eyes. So she had, I think, the, the disease smallpox, but she got better, but she was still a little bit weak and the sun hurt her eyes. When the sun hurts your eyes, you put your hand over your face like that. The village moved across the river. It was a peaceful place. Kateri learned how to pick berries and flowers. She wanted to help with all the chores. I will show you how to plant corn, her aunt said. So her parents have died. So her aunt, it sounds like, is taking care of her. So Kateri planted corn and pumpkins too. The men hunted. The women cooked and made clothing for their families. Children gathered wood for the fire. When the chores were finished, the children played in the fields together. So you do your work, then you can play, right? One sunny day, missionary priests stopped at the village. They were called black robes because they wore black clothing. The black robes told everyone wonderful stories about Jesus. Jesus loves you, the missionary told the people. Remember, Kateri knows about Jesus because her mother taught her how to pray. Many people listened to the black robes. Some people did not like any of the stories, but Kateri enjoyed hearing the stories about Jesus. I want to learn more, she thought. I will teach you about Jesus. A missionary said. All the exciting stories about Jesus made Kateri feel close to Jesus. Perhaps she remembered the songs and stories her mother had taught her many years before. Learning Christianity made Kateri very happy. Kateri would visit the small chapel every day. The missionaries taught her prayers and songs and how to pray the rosary. I love Jesus. I want to be baptized, she said. She was baptized on Easter and given the Christian name Catherine or Kateri. She was filled with joy. Now I am a Christian. Thank you, Jesus, she said. It was hard to be a Christian in her village. Kateri was now 20 years old. Her family wanted her to get married like the other girls, but Kateri wanted to pray and spend time with Jesus. I love Jesus very much, she said. On Sunday, she wanted to pray, not work in the fields. The people did not understand her. They called Kateri names and they were mean to her. One of the missionaries made plans for Kateri to move to a Christian village in Canada. There, she could practice her faith with other Christians. You will be safe here, the missionary told her. So in her village, she didn't want to work. She didn't want to do the things that she was supposed to do. She just wanted to spend time praying and being with Jesus. And so one of the missionaries told her, you can move and go to a Christian village where that's okay. And then people won't be mean to you if you go there. That night, Kateri and her guides left for the St. Francis Xavier mission. They walked through deep forests, grasslands and swamps. They canoed over swift rivers and streams. And after two months on their journey, they finally reached the mission. I am so glad to be here, cried Kateri. She went to mass every day and prayed the rosary. She cared for the sick and taught the children how to pray. Everyone liked Kateri because she was good and kind.
It was winter time when Kateri got sick and weak. Her friends were with her when she died, and her face was bright and beautiful, and they knew that Kateri was in heaven. St. Kateri Tekakwitha is a model for us. We can be kind, holy, and brave. When things happen, and when hard things happen in life, we can keep going with the help of Jesus. It says, be kind every day and remember to pray. Dear Jesus, I love you. St. Kateri loved you too. She was kind and brave. Help me to be kind and brave like her. Amen. The end. And so she has, it says, Kateri was given many titles, so different names. She is often most called Lily of the Mohawks because her tombstone reads, ooh, the fairest flower that ever bloomed among the red men. So the Native Americans. Cool.